Hi guys, welcome back. Um, today is the day that I'm actually picking up my car. So we are here in this F-150, this beautiful, huge F-150, and we are doing my own dealer trade. We came from home and we are in something Falls, Ohio. I think we're near Cleveland. Um, and we're picking up my car from Ale Spitzer Ford. So I took Liam and Drew with me and I really didn't want to show up to the dealership with them too, so I'm leaving them at a beautiful Burger King. Um, and I'm gonna go grab the car and then I'm gonna bring it back and then they can come see it. So unfortunately, they get to ride in luxury in the F-150, but uh, Drew's gonna have to be in the backseat of the Mustang. Sorry. <laughs> Thanks for being good sport. Um, but if you're watching this, it means that you've paid attention to me at Mustang Week and you've seen me sell the CTS. So we're gonna go over all that. Uh, but I'll be back in a little bit with the car. See you in a little bit. See ya. So I'm back, I just got back from my dealer trade. Here it is, I'm so excited. <laughs> you have no idea. I didn't think I was gonna be so excited for a new car, but it's my first brand new car. I'm so excited. Um, but driving it off the lot, I will tell you there is something I don't like about it, but we'll keep that for later. Um, but right now I'm too excited. So we're gonna go for a drive and we're gonna put some gas in it because they left me with one mile. But look at it! <laughs> let's go, let's get in. Okay, so right now I am going to pair my phone, which is an option that I love because my dated CTS did not have that, which is just one option that I love. But look at my, this is the one option I really wanted, my digital dash. Oh. <laughs> that works out perfect. Um, I don't even know how to scroll through this right now. I just want to play with the active exhaust. Normal sport gear. Oh, look at this. Look at this. It's the sweeping one. Oh, it's so cool. Um, let's see what quiet sounds like. Oh, and I forgot to mention, look at this red interior I got. Ah! Uh, we also got what my dad was really excited about for this car to have was a 315 gear, which on low end torque doesn't really sound right, but for high end, which what we're going to be doing on, when we supercharge it, excuse me, we're gonna want that, that um, gear in it. So, oh, journey with us back to the dealership once I find some gas for this thing. Like a second to like get back, get situated, and then you can film. Oh my God, I'm so lucky. You're so jealous. And I'm so jealous of you, lucky bitch. I just couldn't even believe. It. Like I walked in and I was like, it's on the showroom. <laughs> Sorry, we got some chips because we haven't eaten at all. You keep getting me eating. Oh my God! I did not expect it to bump that hard. So this is my first time owning a car that has cooled seats and it's quite pleasant. I do feel a little wet though. It, it does kind of feel like it's little. I don't know, I can't really tell because I always thought the V was huge. As far as fit, like, I don't think Brian's gonna like driving this thing. He may not like these seats. But it drives so nice. Well, it just hit me that I now have half the power as my V has. So, for those of you who are wondering what happened to the V, um, that's gonna be a video coming up. But right now, this is my Mustangs video. I don't know why he's taking so long. I just blew by a cop at 80. How are you guys doing? Good, how are you? Good, good. Give your license. Um, do you have any paperwork for the vehicle? I see you have the dealer plates back no, here. No, now that you say that, it doesn't even have an owner. I just am getting back from a dealer trade. It doesn't okay. even have like an owner's manual in it. 
Okay. Now that I see that. Not a problem. You're all right. I see the dealer plate on the back there. The reason why you're being stopped this afternoon is... Yeah, I had I an 87 know. back there. I know. Pretty fast car, huh? Uh, yeah. It's, it's, <laughs> this is mine. I'm dealer trading it. So literally, I've owned it for 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Sorry. It was just excitement. Speed limit only being 70 out here. 87 a little fast. A little bit. Get a speed citation. Get you guys out as quick as I can, okay? okay? Thank Thanks. You. <laughs> I don't think that could have gone any better, but there's an extra 300 bucks, I'm sure. I don't it'll know. Be, I think toll roads, I think it'll be 130. Oh, if that's the case, I'm then gonna bet it's let's continue to speed because I want to get home. <laughs> <laughs> I never got a speeding ticket in the CTS in two and a half years. Had this car for 45 minutes and I've already gotten a speeding ticket. What the fuck? Um, so I did get a speeding ticket. Um, he explained it. He was a very nice police officer. So um, he said, just be careful. Slow the fuck down. He just explained it to me. It's like $125. So that's the least of like as bad as it could have been. Technically, I don't even own it yet. It's got a dealer plate. <laughs> um, I think I left my keys in the car that we traded. And by keys, I mean for my escape that are sitting in front of the dealership in Ferndale. Which has my car keys. <laughs> which has Liam's car keys in it. So I need to call Brian to see if he can break into that car again to at least get your keys out. But the lovely dealership that I bought that car from didn't give me a spare. This car, this trip, everything's adding up. <laughs> so the dealership just got back to me and they do have them. So um, he said he would mail them to me, but who knows how long that that's gonna take. Normally I wouldn't care, but I have a keychain on there that I've had since I was 16, so I'm a little bummed about that. So welcome to my channel where nothing goes smoothly and everything's unpredictable. It's always an adventure. That's why maybe Wiley does really fit for this plate because the word Wiley actually means creating adventure. So <laughs> click and subscribe. Did I do it right, Liam? <laughs> Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Smash that button. <laughs> I haven't had a speeding ticket in so long. <laughs> I'm still mad. New Joe, who dis? But he said you're not gonna be able to take it because everyone's probably leaving already. Take this car? Yeah. Why? Because he said no one's gonna be here to send paperwork tonight. You guys took so damn long. Um, so we're finally back at the dealership. Um, it sucks because it's six o'clock, so I don't know if they're gonna be able to sign on the car for me. It's not happening tonight. But the worst thing is, is my escape's right there and I don't have the keys to it. I don't hate those wheels. Oh, you haven't even seen the outside of the car yet? No, we're keeping it like. Oh, it's real hush hush right now? Yeah. I don't want to blow anything. Uh, I like it. 10 out of 10. Brian Choice Interior. This thing can fit so much spaghetti in it. <laughs> you know how much spaghetti this thing can fit? At least four desks. <laughs> I measured it myself. <laughs> Measurement is desks. You've never had four desks of spaghetti? I You make you make batches in desks. Where? Yeah, four desks of spaghetti. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> so as you guys have probably been waiting, um, I'm finally home with the car. Um, actually some of our paperwork was wrong this morning, so none of this process has been easy. Uh, but I'm finally gonna go over the spec of the car and what it is. Um, if you couldn't tell with my speeding ticket, it is a five liter. Wow, Joe came from a purple car. Why'd she pick silver? Well, the blue on the CTS was the only car that I had ever had that was a color. Everything else I had was gray or silver. Um, my Ram that I got was silver too. So silver has always been my favorite color and I just think it did really well with the red. Um, so from the front, I didn't get the blackout package, but this car actually had every option that I was looking for. It was almost like I had ordered it myself. So it was the only silver one within 200 miles. So I'll show you what my biggest excitement is, is the uh, red interior. And the reason I didn't want the Recaros was I really wanted heated and cooled seats. And I know that seems crazy to have in a race car. I really got this car because I want something I enjoy driving again. Um, no gripe on the CTS, but it just wasn't enjoyable to have around all the time. Um, I was able to get Digital Dash, which is only an option right now for 18s. So the car is on quiet now and you can barely hear the car. Um, and you may think like, well, I want a, a loud race car. But for us, like Brian and I live in like a very small city. So 
we're kind of on top of each other with our neighbors and we have not been a fan of them. So it's kind of nice to respect them and have the car quiet when we want it. This was not something I was really looking for, but I just got really lucky with it. Uh, it has a shaker uh, sound system. This thing bumps and I was not, <laughs> I was definitely not expecting that. I have not, haven't even had a car that said Sync 3 before. So any option that this car had is more than I've ever been used to. Um, that's the inside. I'm gonna turn it off. Uh, there isn't much on the outside that I think we have to go over, um, aside from the spoiler is going to change at some point because I hate it. Um, and if we're going over, you guys are probably in anticipation of what I hated about this 18, and it's these. They're just so much worse than I was expecting, so uh, wheels are on their way. I didn't really want to order a ton of parts without having the car and being able to pick it up came a little quicker than I was expecting. So um, working on a spoiler, working on wheels. We already have tires for the rear. Um, next will probably be some sort of variation of a chin spoiler. I really like the Performance Pack 2 one. Uh, it's a lot more expensive than I had anticipated it being because it's a two piece one and you also need uh, an under tray. So it's gonna end up being closer to $1,000 and I wasn't really expecting to spend that. Hopefully at Mustang week, I'm gonna get blacked out badges actually from UPR. But other than that, I'm really happy with it. I think we're taking it to get tints on Tuesday. What's, or I'm sorry, Saturday, what's today? Thursday, Thursday, August 2nd. Uh, I'll probably get some BMR racing springs and lowered a little bit too, just so it keeps the stock uh, like feel of stock but will help when it squats because uh, that's the plan for this car. I'll explain in a further video on why I ended up with the seat getting rid of the CTS and ending up with this. Uh, it has big plans and big potential so I'm really excited about it. I know I'm gonna get in a lot of trouble with this car because it just drives so much different than the CTS did. It's the best word I was telling Liam yesterday while we were driving it back home is it's just it's got agility and the CTS like not speaking poorly of it at all it just was not as fun to drive as this is already oh my other hate about this car you people from ohio fucked my shit al spitzer ford thanks for trading it but i'm pissed you put the license plate thing in i just think it's weird that dealerships from out of state prematurely put the holes in it i mean they can't i mean i know most people in ohio don't think that they want that on there but at some point, we have a spoiler coming used from two, I I'm got leads on two different people. One's already silver, so that may screw me for fixing this, but um, I might have to have one of them repainted. Uh, so if I have to get that repainted, then I'll have this fixed. Anything else? I have no other complaints on the car aside from these brutal wheels and that. Uh, stay tuned. Brian and I are going to have another adventure tomorrow. So, uh, We'll keep you posted and I'll let you know on uh, what happened with the CTS. Like, subscribe, whatever I'm supposed to say. Yeah, mm. smash it. <laughs> Definitely don't do that. Uh, but if you think we're interesting, uh, give us a follow. Something in my eye. What the fuck? My eyes are too big.